Hi, I'm Steve Webb, and I am a professional full-time voiceover artist with episode number three in my series, Tips for Writing Radio or Television Commercials. In the last episode, we talked about the need for your commercial to establish that your product or service will solve a problem for your prospect and that your commercial must have only one call to action. In this episode, I'm going to tell you how to build urgency into your call for action. First, though, it's important to understand a bit of psychology. We humans are often guilty of procrastination, and we use all sorts of excuses to justify it. I need to think about it. I need to finish this project over here first. I need to talk to my wife. We come up with all sorts of excuses. Now, here's a strange thing about the way we think. This tendency towards procrastination is in full force even when we know that we would be better off taking action now. Of course, the classic example is the student who waits until the last minute to write that paper or to study for an exam. Or the guy who has to do his taxes, but he waits to start until April 15th. I've never done that. How about you? So with this in mind, you want to build urgency into your commercial, not to push them into buying from you, but to prevent them from procrastinating. Remember, your commercial has shown them that you're offering a product or service that will solve a problem for them. It's a legitimately beneficial addition to their life. So in service to them, you want to give them sufficient reason to overcome the tendency to procrastinate. One more thing before we talk about how to create urgency. In using these techniques, you need to be truthful. People are not stupid, and they can and will smell a lame, made-up tactic. If you're making up a reason for urgency that is illogical or fake, they'll probably not respond to your offer. So, here we go. Number one, use a cutoff date but give them a legitimate and a logical reason for the date. It could be that your supplier has a limitation on the deal, or the deal is in celebration of your business's anniversary, or it could be that if you're selling a service, you only have so much room for new clients, new business. Could be that the price is scheduled to go up. Whatever the reason, be sure that the reason is legitimate and logical. And one more thing, stick to the cutoff date. Let them know that when the clock is up, the deal is over. Number two, use limited quantities. Now, this is easy when you're selling an actual product, a widget of some sort. You know that you have a limited quantity, only X number of widgets that you can sell, and that when they're gone, they're gone. Number three, you can use the instinct of self-preservation. Remember, your offer is going to solve a problem for your prospect. If they don't take action now, that problem will probably continue. So, if your solution, let's say, will save them money, remind them how much money they stand to lose if they don't take action now. Or, if you're offering, let's say, a car wash, then remind your customer that uh, leaving that dirt, grime, and salt on the car is going to cost them and the fact that it's going to ruin the car's finish or even cause rust. Remember, in creating a sense of urgency in your radio or TV commercial, you want to give people sufficient reasons to overcome the very natural tendency to procrastinate. Now, here's a bonus tip for you. The reasons you give, if they're honest and logical, are often what causes your prospect to take action, not the limitation that you explain in your offer. You see, people buy for two reasons. They buy for emotion and they buy for logic. The urgency triggers the emotion. The reasons for the urgency triggers the logic. On the next episode, I'm going to tell you three, maybe four things you should never do in your commercials. Until then, thanks for watching. Please feel free to leave a comment or post questions in the comment section below. And if you'd like to hear my demos, click on over to theguywithafriendlyvoice.com. If you'd like to discuss hiring me for your commercials, write to me at studio at theguywithafriendlyvoice.com. Till next time, my name is Steve Webb.